Hi everyone! Okay, I'm sorry if the audio quality is a little not as good as usual. Uh, not to get too personal, but my wrist looks normal again. I don't know what was going on with it, but it was not looking normal. I think I, um, I like I hyperextended it. I explained what happened in the description for the other video. I, I, I put it in the title, like, where I put the notes. But thank you for your patience. Uh, I didn't mention it in the other video because I recorded it before. Uh, <laughs> but I'm, I'm all good. Nothing super bad happened. And I'm, we're just going to play some episode stories, you know. Homewrecker, tap here to start. Whoa. Okay. Oh, it's Carly. <laughs> Why are you keeping things behind my back? Oh my god. They're fighting. This is so good. Is this what it has come to? You messing around with other men? How dare you accuse me of things I've never done? I've never once strayed from our marriage despite our personal problems. That's why you allowed your ex-boyfriend in our home? When have I ever given you a reason to not trust me? It's weird that you now have all these trust issues and horrible thoughts because you aren't getting what you want from me? Maybe you're the one cheating on me he is stop trying to play victim in this when you're the one who's going behind my back if you want him so bad then divorce me i am not sleeping with him nor do i want him who is putting this in your head it doesn't matter it doesn't change the fact that you were with raymond in our home without telling me it matters because whoever this person is wants you to believe that i'm unfaithful why don't you just talk to your damn wife first before making conclusions Ooh. Yeah, good point. I really doubt Carly has any ill intentions over this. She loves me. I'm like, oh, wait, Carly told you this? Ooh, oh my gosh, Carly. <laughs> Crap. I, I'm a head out. She's always had my best interest at heart. I can't believe you right now. You believe her and not your wife? I just want the damn truth, Selene. Did you sleep with Raymond? No. Oh my god, that sounded so British. <laughs> then what was he doing here then? He he wants me back. I knew it. He's a bad husband. If she can go behind my back and cheat, why should I feel guilty? Man, I wish I could run that fast. <laughs> Why did you tell him, huh? This choice may have consequences. Choose wisely. Ooh, scary. Uh, simply laugh. I mean, are we that psychotic? <laughs> um, yeah, but that that's lying, though, right? Honesty is the best policy. Well, oh, I'm, I'm not a good decision maker. You think I'd get better at this? We're evil. Do you think this is funny? Do you want to ruin my marriage? I trusted you. Leave Carly out of this. This is between me and you. No, this is between all of us since you let her put that idea into your head. I don't know what you saw, but tell him the damn truth. Tell him that nothing happened between me and Raymond since he believes you. Wait. In my hands now lies the fate of this horrendous marriage. After all this time trying to earn the trust and respect of the legends and dismantle this brittle foundation that holds this union, it is finally my moment to take what is mine once and for all. Mrs. Legend, I care a lot about your husband. I'm sorry, but I saw... Wait, is that what the laugh option did? If I knew that was what it did, I wouldn't have chosen it. <laughs> How could you? Why are you lying about this? The only person lying is you, Celine. Just on, oh, just on up to it. <laughs> I'm not lying. Why do you take her word over mine? Why, Dorian, I've given you ten years, and you believe this homewrecker, ding, over me. <laughs> You've lost your man's trust, honey. 
He's quite over the fact that all you've done is make him miserable. That's enough, Carly. Just be honest with her, Dorian. You know this marriage has been over for a while now. Just tell her. Just tell her how you... Oh, wow. What? Carly, stop. I hate you. You lying piece of... Baby, please. No wonder you were on her side. Oh, this is getting ugly. And you knew perfectly what you were doing. You're gonna pay for this. Why did you do that? That's my wife. A lying and cheating wife. I can't believe you'd go this far. It almost seems like you've wanted this to happen for so long. It's called love. I don't, blame, <laughs> I don't blame you for feeling this since she never did anything for you out of love. You don't know anything. You've done enough, Carly, and it's clear that all you bring to my life is drama. You're fired. Oh, gosh. Those are the worst words she could have ever heard. I would say poor Carly if she wasn't such a terrible person. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to need you to put your hands above your head. And shimmy. Shimmy. Yes, just like that. Gosh, self-care is so exhausting. Come on now, move it. Jump, jump. I'm going, Mr. Ramsey. Oh, ow. Shit. <laughs> bing, bing. Coming. Hey, girl. What doing out at these hours? You all right? I will be. I'm not going to cry anymore. Can I stay here for tonight? I really need to be away from home right now. Of course. Same old story. Just with a little plot twist. Turns out I was right the whole time. I can't believe I was so stupid. What did this man do now? Everything wrong. He cheated on me with his personal assistant. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, me too. What are you planning to do? I'm flying to California to find a law team for a possible divorce. I've had enough of this bullshit. You go, Celine. Who? Yeah, divorce him. He's a bad husband. Oh, yeah, it's this guy. Carly. Carly. Why are you doing my heart like this, girl? Is this a flashback? Or is it like... Oh, I think this is his imagination. Carly, from the moment I first saw you, my whole damn world came to a stop. There was no one else I thought about but you. You drive me crazy, my love. And every day that passes, I grow hungrier for your touch. I, I just can't explain it. The truth is, wait, the truth, I too feel the same way about you. I didn't know I could be so happy and find a whole new meaning to my life without you. Wait, I don't know what I just said. With you. <laughs> I love you, Carly, and there is no one I'd rather spend my life with than you. I love you too. This is so interesting. You are the woman of my dreams. And I know this might be sudden, but it feels so right in my heart. Oh, this is really weird. They don't talk that much, do they? Uh. Carter, I... Bro, what are you doing? Huh? Dude, get up. You're creeping me out. What in the living Grim Reaper are you doing, dog? Shut up. I mean, I would be worded out seeing that, too. Dude, did you hear the screaming down the hall a bit ago? I think someone threw hands. Screaming? Nah, I was taking a shower. 
Plus, who's going to throw hands? Mr. and Mrs. Legend are the only ones here right now. And Carly. I just saw her leave on the security cameras. Carly was here? Are you still with your little delusion? Wait, oh my god. I'm sorry. Are you still with your little illusion? You are something else, my friend. Can you let me have feelings? I want to have love too, you know. Let me be. Bro, did you see how feisty she was? She'll shred your heart. How do you know? Not everyone I meet is cynical and bad. She probably has a good heart. Maybe. I don't know. But bro, I think they scrapped downstairs. I doubt it. Sonia would have called us. And if Carly was the only one here, I really don't think something would go down. That's where you're wrong. Is that why Mrs. Legend wants me to meet her at the airport tomorrow morning? Dude, shit did go down. Damn it. Things have really gone south now. I didn't know what would be of my marriage now that everything has been revealed. Now my darkest and deepest fears are finally here to haunt me without mercy. My wife is missing without a clue of her whereabouts. I no longer have a personal assistant again. <laughs> and I have no idea how I will be able to redeem myself and save my marriage. I know that I have messed up for falling into a trap of lust and deception. But one thing that is for sure is my love for Soline has been the same. Regardless of all the problems we've had. Is everything all right, sir? <laughs> Nothing's all right. I need you to locate Celine for me. I just need to know if she's okay. Your wife texted me a bit ago, telling me she was at her friend's house. She also mentioned that she was going to be flying to California tomorrow morning, and she wants me to join her. California? She's for sure going to our summer home. Ooh. Thank you, Malik. Please do join her and keep me updated. I can't believe this. I was completely hopeless at this point. I had lost a job I had worked so hard for my entire life. The man I love detests my existence. And I was back to being the rejected girl no one wanted. It's as if life catapulted me back to square one to fend for myself once again. But this time is different. I may be jobless right now, but I'm not defeated. I won't accept this easily as I have stupidly done it so in the past. I will make Dorian realize the grand mistake he has made for siding with the oh well. His love is worth fighting for and I will go to the end of the world for it. Even if it's the last thing I will do. Carly, can I come in? Oh my gosh. That was not a good time. <laughs> she is not okay. Hey. I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. I've been thinking about our last conversation and I went out of line. I apologize. You mean everything to me and I don't like it when we argue. I wasn't mad at you if that's what you're worried about. Disappointed, yeah, but never mad. You have feelings and I know what it's like to be in love. But I just don't want you to get hurt, that's all. You're like a sister to me. I know. And I appreciate you for that. But sometimes, no matter what we do, we will always get hurt eventually. Don't you think so? Just look at my life. It's nearly a joke. Girl, you trippin'. You literally have one of the most important jobs in a world-renowned company. You're beautiful and intelligent. You out here living your best life. Oh, it's so amazing. Is everything all right, Boo? Is there something bothering you? No, I'm fine. I've just been through a lot, as you know. I'm great, though. Well, you know, I'm always here for you. I love you. I love you, too. So, how are you managing your feelings about Dorian? Is it uncomfortable to work with him now? 
No, things are great. Totally normal. You guys got everything ready for Paris tomorrow? OMG, yes. I honestly can't wait. I'm so freaking excited. Me too. Oh my gosh, the sun is shining and the birds are chirping. It's it's just a wonderful brand new day. Oh my gosh, look at that outfit. How do I look? Oh my. You are a bouquet of flowers, my love. Carly the Red Queen. That's such a cute outfit. I love it. Oh my god, I want it. <laughs> Thank you for this gift. Who would have known you used to be a fashionista before working in business? I got magic in these bones, Amor. I don't doubt it at all. Wink. So talk to me, Amor. What was that text all about? You got me all stressed? I'm a very intuitive person, and something tells me you're trustworthy. The most trustworthy. Paulo, I'm going to tell you something, but I need you to keep this between us only. I cross my heart. I got fired from Legend. Say what? This is terrible. Carly, the fired queen. I know, but everything is going to be okay. As long as you're willing to help me. Of course, Amora, you name it. Do you want me to talk to Mr. Legend? No, not necessarily. He, he's the love of my life, Paolo. He fired me because he couldn't handle his emotions for me while being married to Celine. What? Honey, this is so steamy already. I always had a kink for forbidden love affairs. <laughs> Bravo, Amor. So bold and passionate. Carly, the bold and passionate queen. I know, right? That's why I need you to help me. Even though I no longer will be at the company, we're still going to be partners. What do you say? I'd love to, Amor. Being bad with you is going to be so fun. Am I interrupting something? Cassie, of course not, babe. I'd like you to meet a good friend of mine who happens to be Mrs. Legend's new PA, Paolo Ferrari, at your service, the Mia Bella Regina. Oh my god, I, I hope I pronounced that right, I'm sorry. <laughs> nice to meet you, Paolo. Heading to work? Yes, Paolo's giving me a ride. Are you and Abel going to the airport? Yeah, that's why I came to let you know. I just wanted to see if you needed anything before I leave. No, I think I'm fine. Go on and have yourself an amazing time with your man. I'll be okay. Okay, well, call me if you need anything. I'll text you when we land. Love you. So you're going to keep the whole house to yourself? You're welcome to stay over whenever you like. I could use the company. Sure thing, Amor. I don't have too many people here anyway. So shall we get going too? So you're actually going to do it, huh? Carly, the savage queen. She's gonna do it. Oh my, look at that city. Perfect. Keep me updated and let me know when we've got a good set of candidates. I need a new assistant ASAP. All right. Thank you. What a disaster. And it's all my fault. It's almost been a whole 24 hours since our huge fight yesterday, and I still can't come to terms with anything. How is it that, in a matter of a few months, my life turned completely upside down? When did I become so reckless, insatiable, and resentful? I knew I had to right my wrongs before I lose Celine over this. 
There was no doubt in my mind that Carly was a deceitful and malicious girl wanting to interfere my my oh my god I'm, <laughs> should i try again there was no doubt in my mind that in carly was a deceitful and malicious girl wanting to interfere in my marriage and if i want to save myself and my relationship with Celine, i had to start anew i better see charlie about my flight oh there she is hey mr legend carly what are you doing here I thought I fired you. I'm here to pick up my last paycheck. I'm low on funds and I need my money now. And since I'm here, I also want to apologize for yesterday. You already ruined things, so why bother? I'll have Charlie mail you your check. But just leave, please. You've done enough damage. You have no idea how hurt I am about this. I dreamed about having this job and now it's gone all for having feelings. Do you think I'm joyful over this? I don't care anymore. You told Celine about that kiss and made it seem more than what it was. On purpose. How do you even fall in love with someone in a few months? Are you sure it has nothing to do with the fact that I'm a multi-billionaire? Are you serious? What kind of woman do you think I am? A woman with no shame. And to think I almost believed in you. But thank God I realized it sooner than later. You love me, you imbecile. Oh. <laughs> you took advantage of my situation with Celine. That wasn't love, Carly. It was lust. And nothing else. Yeah, I messed up, but I never had any intention of being with you. I don't love you, and I never did, and I never will. You don't mean that. You lie. Believe what you want. I'm going to find my woman and fight for her love. Maybe get yourself a new hobby, preferably a new job. Don't cry. This will not stay like this. Oh no, she's thinking of something. What's she gonna do? You will regret this, Dorian. Two weeks later, oh no, the legend's summer home, California. Why don't you call him and talk? It's not healthy, Mija. Marriages are sacred and worth fighting for. It's no use, Mom. He chose her when he decided to betray me. There will, oh, <laughs> there will always be people who want to see a relationship broken soul but it's up to you to decide whether you want to fight for it or not loving him isn't enough though he took her side instead of mine my aunt is right soul marriages are something special and you shouldn't be thinking of divorce so easily you're more than a cousin to me you're like a sister and i don't want to see you regret something like this i know what it feels like to give up on love for being caught up in a moment but I'm scared. Sweetie, Dorian is a great man. What is keeping you from wanting to work on this marriage with him? I'm, oh, it's the big reveal. Oh my gosh. Wait, who is in the room? Oh, wow. Uh, like I said before, I think I would feel bad for Carly if she wasn't just, you know, if she wasn't the way she is. Uh, thank you for watching. I will be playing the next episode very soon, of course. Of course, thank you for being patient. Um, bye. <laughs>